and welcome beautiful scorpion shape i am very very excited that you're here make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because today there's something that you do not want to miss <laughs> i already have so many videos up and i want you to check out the two previous videos that i made because there are a couple of fundamentals that you kind of like want and need and try out before trying this helicopter roll but if you're told you just want to try this one, it's fine as well. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to show you what it looks like and then I'm going to break it down one to you. In a million, one in a million, one in a million, it looks pretty, doesn't it? It looks a little bit like, Ooh, can I really pull this off? Yes, you can, ma'am. <laughs> First fundamental that you want to know is how to sit in a Z-sit. Quite easy. If you've done pull, you probably ended up in this sit before. So both legs are bent. I already explained this to you in a couple previous videos. So you probably like, <laughs> or 100% you have ended up in this one. You want to sit on your front butt cheek. Knees are on the floor. They're staggered. You have them both bent like this easy <laughs> so if you want to roll over your right shoulder you want to have your right leg forward if you want to roll over your left shoulder you want to have your left leg forward i will be rolling over my right shoulder because it's just my my shoulder my side but try both of them out second fundamental here is that you're comfortable being on your shoulders in plow pose plow pose is this one where you have your legs over your head like this. If you're not quite flexible enough and you're like hovering, you're still gonna be able to do this move. Maybe not with the toes on the floor the whole time, but that's okay. It's just gonna look a little bit more, yeah, athletic, I would say. <laughs> but this is really the thing that you want to be comfortable with. Quite important not to roll your head like I'm doing right now. But within this pose, we will be rolling from one shoulder onto the other shoulder yeah and if you do not have enough momentum or you do not really feel comfortable here what will happen is that you will roll down roll away so kind of what it is is like a shoulder roll that we did in the previous video but a continued shoulder roll <laughs> so instead of doing just the first quarter we're actually going to do the whole half now yeah so your hands are similar not quite, but let me break it down to you. You're sitting in a Z set right here. From here, what you want to do is to bring your outside hand for momentum. You can swing it. I'm gonna drag it on the floor to make it look a little bit more pretty. And you're gonna tuck this arm in. Yeah, so it's gonna land here, like this, okay? From there, your outside leg will start to come forward. Again, you know this from pull, right? It's gonna come forward and your legs want to be super straight and your toes want to be pointed. Long legs, I've got to work out for that up. <laughs> so as you come here and you tuck your hand, you want to bring those feet up. Straight, 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 right? So then you continue to roll out until you bring until you bring that other leg back down. So really what it is, you're gonna come onto one shoulder, rolling over so that the weight is on your back, plow pose, and then you roll your way back down onto the other shoulder. Yeah, and your legs are opening up, so they're closed, opening up, closing again. Take a look at just the legs of what they're doing so you can really integrate this and implement this into your practice and don't worry about how you want to land you can land in so many different ways so this is also something that you can make your own all right the legs so you really want to push yourself off the floor as well as soon as you come forward otherwise you're just gonna fall <laughs> if you do not really have momentum you're gonna land on your back and not on your shoulder right so it's gonna be like a little potato action here <laughs> yeah so you're not gonna be able to actually come across so what you want to do is you want to think in your mind plow 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 and I want to end up between my shoulder blades <laughs> like this Be 
beautiful. <laughs> so the legs, what they're doing is you're gonna bring yourself down. They're opening themselves up, bringing yourself up right. Your hands, you can extend them. And from here, the leg that is coming down, that is on the other side of where you started, wants to bring the knee down. The other leg is gonna continue its round until you're here, right? So you can land like this, you can land like this, you can land with straight legs. It's really up to you. And different moves will look different on every person. So if it doesn't look like mine, but you're making it your own, it's even better, right? <laughs> so let's do this once more in your own tempo, in your own style and really break this trick down for you. And as always, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, try the beginner series. But if you just need a little bit more guidance and tips and tricks, message me. Write it down in the comments below, okay? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so you can do this quite slow as I just did, or really give it your all and put a little bit more emphasis on everything that's happening. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so this was a beautiful one, wasn't it? Super, super beautiful to add into your choreographies, into any dances, into your in-between pole dance to really come towards your pole. I cannot wait to show you how to actually bring this onto the pole. You know, when you come down, you do your floor work and then move back onto the pole. It's gonna be amazing. I've got so many ideas in my head. But just needs to wait a little bit because I don't have a pole at my hands right now. But as soon as I get my new apartment, we get our new apartment, I'm gonna be, I will be making sure to include a pole room so that we can both land together. Thank you so much. I would love to get support from you. So leave a like, a comment, and let me know how you like this. Thank you so much. And I'll see you very, very soon here on my channel. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>